that you know why I'm angry at you and it's really this? I'm telling you why I'm angry. I'll tell you all of it. Your job is not to try to diagnose what this must really be out. I am not on my period, so on and so forth. I'm not pissed off because I didn't get to do the media at that demo when I'm taking the interview or whatever. It's not, don't diagnose it. I don't want to hear about it, you know? When somebody comes to you and they're emotional, they're sad, they're angry, your job is to listen and participate in their emotions with them. What did I do? How did this happen? Become part of it. Don't sit up on top of it and try to figure out what's going on and how you can get out and get into self-preservation mode, because a lot of people do. They try to figure out how to absolve themselves of the responsibility for having made you feel feelings. But you need to like actually just like get down in there with them and, and do it. Um, so, okay, the, the final kind of like point in this vein that I'm gonna go on is um, that there are gonna be dudes that women in this community or anybody who isn't a straight, white, cis man will encounter, which is they don't want you in their lane. They want you to stay in your lane. And I hate my lane because my lane is always exiting. It exits before the media gets there. It exits whenever I critique something that's happened. It exits when I want to get on the bullhorn and be out front. And I don't want to be in that lane. I don't like that lane that's always exiting. I want to be in that lane that goes to the top of the group and starts organizing meetings and has some agency and whose opinion is respected and who can say this is the way that I think we can appeal to more people like me and don't we need more people like me? Um, I like that lane. So when I got into AR organizing because I came from feminist organizing and I was used to organizing with a bunch of women um, and ignoring fully and completely anything any man had to say, I just threw my blinker on and just got in that lane. I was just like, oh, that won't make room, I'm getting in. And I got in there and I, I stayed there. And now I'm a part of more groups than any other woman in my community. And that was an easy space to hold. And a lot of people tried to run me out of it and the, the reason that I got to keep it was because all of the other women in those groups were like, no, we'd like Jenny to stay there. And so when you see a woman who's holding some space, go hold it with her. When you see somebody who's got into that lane, get into it too. 